All right, so this week's class is gonna be on uh, high protein crops. So I'm here with a pigeon pea. Uh, there's lots of different varieties. These are just coming on. Most of these pods haven't even filled out yet, uh, but these can be used kind of like a, a soybean. They're very high in protein, easy to grow. The bushes live uh, three or four years. Um, excellent uh, staple protein crop uh, for Hawaii. So this is another pigeon pea here. This is about the max size they're gonna get, pushing 10, 12 feet. Um, this one's a couple years old and it's covered with little buds just about to break. So this is gonna be covered in flowers soon. And then the peas will follow, drought resistant. Um, again, excellent staple crop. Um, and you can eat these, you can just uh, boil these. When they're at this stage, they're still kind of green. You can boil them and then just uh, dip them in some uh, shoyu and wasabi and eat them right out of the pod like edamame. So this is Moringa. Uh, it's a really great high protein crop. Uh, nutrient dense. Um, this has been pruned. It, it wants to turn into a tree, but we want to keep it as a bush so we can harvest the leaves. So it's been pruned here, it's been pruned here, it's been pruned here. We just pruned it there again. Uh, we've got a lot of moringa here. Um, this way we can cut these back, some of these even further into stumps, and they'll still grow back. And that way with a lot of plants, we can rotate through them. See the flower here on this one. And these will get a pod, which is also edible. And the flowers are also edible too. I uh, prefer to cook it. It's got a little bit of a horseradishy taste um, when it's raw, but it is edible raw. Um, and then this one here, let's see, I've just, I've just harvested that. But at some point, we really want to cut these back uh, really low just to get them uh, to bush out more and make them really easy to, to harvest. So this is another really great high protein crop. Uh, this is a uh, Zen long bean and uh, extremely productive. We had a lot of other beans going that died out long ago. These have been going uh, for over six months. We'll probably get a year's production out of them. Um, these ones are, are ready to use in the, uh, in the green state. Let's give them a little twist like this. Come right off. Uh, so these we can use just like we use a green bean. Um, but then these ones here, you can see how the pot is filled out and starting to turn. Um, we can cook these, right? We can cook those, have a fairly short cook time on these because they're, they're still uh, wet. And then if we wanna plant some, um, we've got there's a dry pod. This one looks a little bit old. It's probably still viable. So, so we replant these guys. Uh, so these can also be used as a dry bean, right? So we can, we can strip those out of the pod, a couple duds there, but uh, these could be used like you'd cook any other bean. So come join us this Saturday and learn some of the best locally adapted staple crops for Hawaii. We're talking about pigeon pea, moringa, uh, long bean, perennial lima bean, and more.